Good evening, everyone. For the first time in Upper Peninsula girls basketball history, two defending state champions meet to see which team reigns supreme. Defending Class C state titleist Calumet against last year's Class D state champ St. Ignis, the Class C regional this year lived up to and beyond its billing. The state started the third quarter with a three-point lead, 30 to 27, and expanded on it. Abby Ostman, Lenny Gustafson, Shakir Smith, 36-27 Saints. But Calumet would have a response. Leah Keelanen, Alexa Anderson for three. She had nine points on the night. Again, for the Copper Kings, Loretta Hallinan. Inside to Haley Wickstrom. Turns, scores with the left hand, missed the free throw. She had 11 points. We're tied at 42 after three. Block shot leads to Lenny Gustafson scoring a 44-43 lead for St. Ignace. Then after a jump ball, Gustafson, Abby Ostman for the hoop. She led everybody with 22, a three-point lead for St. Ignace, which was eliminated moments later as Clara Locus was left wide open behind the line. She had 17, we're not at 46. All right, tied at 52, 5.7 seconds to go. Natalie Lee tries to shoot. Referee is in my way, but he does call a foul with 1.1 seconds to go in the cabinet bench, can't believe it. Natalie Lee missed the first free throw. Made the second one. Timeout Calumet, a one-point lead for the Saints. The long, desperate pass is intercepted by Gustafson, and the Saints win a thriller, 53-52, to take another regional title. Hats off to Calumet. It stinks that somebody has to end their season right now. That's exactly the person I wanted on the free throw line, absolutely. Natalie is, uh, she's, she's clutch. She's clutch. I knew they were a great team. I knew they could come back at any moment. I knew we had to stay with it the whole game. Sometimes you end up on this, this end of the stick, and um, I sure would love to be moving on. I wish the Saints all the luck in the world, you know. Uh, they came to play, too, and it was, it was truly fun to be part of that game. I think people are going to talk about this game for a long time. St. Ignace is 23-2. and two. As you take a look at the regional trophy, we'll go to the scoreboard, and the Saints will meet 24-1. and one. Traverse City St. Francis Tuesday in a quarterfinal at Gaylord. The Gladiators defeated the McBain Ramblers tonight, 59-42. Let's go to Class D and Kingsford High School. The Forest Park Trojans and the Stevenson Eagles. And Forest Park connecting early. Libby Shamian for three, 10-8 Forest Park. Then Abby Nyland steps up and knocks down a two. And the Trojans pull within one in the second quarter. Then Stevenson starts taking advantage of its size inside. Kelsey Johnson, Tori Wangerin, yes, 14 points and 12 rebounds. Carly Johnson stays inbounds and floats home the triple for a 10-point Eagles lead. Then freshman Autumn Raisner, she shoots better than Jason Raisner. Look at that, 17 points for the freshman. And she will hit another one. And Stevenson pulled away to win this one by the count of 60 to 36. I'm just glad to bring something huge back to our community. The girls have been great. We've been building up for this point throughout the whole season. And I think we peaked at the right time. And I'm just super proud of them. I think we can go all the way. I think we can do it. I think we can um, win state. I think we can do it. This is Stevenson's first regional title since the Eagles won a Class C regional back in 1982. Now on the scoreboard, it's been 26 years since Newberry won a regional title. Ah, the days of Chris Nance, if I recall correctly. Indians win tonight over Pickford 44 to 34. They were down 10 points at the half. Taylor Bryant had 18 of her 19 points in the second half, and Monica Temissa had 12 for Newberry. So it's Newberry and Stevenson Tuesday in Nagani. We like those short road trips. Class B. Manistee looking to repeat as regional champion, taking on the Houghton Gremlins early in the fourth quarter. Chippewa seniors helping get this one done. Emily Cott to Emma Burns works her way inside for the three-point lead. Then Cott finds Burns again, and it was an 11-0 run at the end of the game. And Manistee went on to eliminate Houghton by the score of 42-30. to And Manistee takes on Bay City John Glenn in a state quarterfinal Tuesday. 
Meanwhile, in women's college hockey, uh, Rainy River defeated NMU at the Division II National in Kalamazoo today by the score of 4-2. Rainy River scored two goals in the third period to wrap this one up, and pool play continues tomorrow. All kinds of information is available on our website at UpperMichiganSource.com. How in the world did I end up with extra time tonight? I don't know. Well, one. we have time for that song again. Mm. Please well, grace us. Now I need it's better my... when you get to see him on camera do it. Yeah, let's see it. Ah, hush, hush, hush. <laughs> Hancock Bulldogs, good luck to the hockey team tomorrow in the Division Three semifinal down in Plymouth. They'll be taking on Cranbrook. That one starts at 11 in the morning. Michigan Tech cleaned house today at the WCHA Awards. Alex Patan, the Player of the Year, so that's the second year in a row. The Huskies have had a Player of the Year, Hancock's Tanner Carroll, last year. They also have the Student Athlete of the Year in goalie Jamie Phillips. And Mr. Mel Pearson, for the second time in five years, was named the Coach of the Year. Michigan Tech takes on Alaska tomorrow night in the first game of the best of three first round series. NMU travels to Ferris State. And in swimming, I can't believe I have this much time. It's incredible. Ryan Knox Leonard earned his second All-American status of the NCAA championships. He was fourth in the 400 individual medley, setting a school record in the process. So and the look at that. You still have 35 well. seconds I to can't sing that believe song this. for us. Uh, I don't Boy, think that, that's uh, going to happen. How you met St. Ignace game. Everything you expect it to be. And more. Yeah. And more. Uh, just a great basketball game. Hard when it's settled on a foul with, that was second with short left, time boy. remaining but I, yeah. as you could tell my view was kind of blocked I can't tell <laughs> if it was or wasn't yeah well the refs have a tough job too yes, so. all right thanks a lot Mike